What is going on everyone? My name is NWHunt97 and welcome to another Final Fantasy 7 playthrough. Uh, today we're doing episode 6 and uh, we're continuing going forward um, with our adventure. So last time we were playing, uh, you know, obviously playing Final Fantasy and uh, we've just met Ares and uh, we've, you know, defeated some sooner bad guys. We defeated like the big boss, uh, what's it called? Uh, Air Buster, I think it's called. And, yeah, if you, if you don't hear that, that's my dog, she's whining, it's okay, she probably wants to see Final Fantasy 7, just get along already, get this episode going. Also, anyway guys, we're going to continue going forward. What's the matter? You were playing Final Fantasy 7, it's okay. For those of you who follow my Twitter, you know how who she looks like, so. Or do you? Eh, I'm not sure. I'll probably make another video. I'll probably make like a little video of her some of these days. Uh, so anyway, uh, we have, uh, there's something here that we need to find. Um, so here's a store that we can get. We don't have much, I mean, we have all of this stuff here. So we don't need like another, like a, a store. We're just good for one for now. Uh, you definitely need to get some more materia for each of your, um, you know, characters and all that. But for now, you know, since we don't have any slots because we don't have really good weapons and armor, um, we're just good for, like, one materia each right now. At least for now. Um, we definitely can't get some tents. So let's just grab one. Uh, let's get, like, a phoenix. Eh. We're good for now. Like, we definitely need to get that 10. Like, we, need, we need to save our kill, honestly. Gil's atrocious in this game, especially in the beginning. So just visiting all the houses. You know. Um, is there... Is there okay, so, little side quest here. Um, there should be a little poster around here. There we go. So, it's called the Turtle Paradise side quest. And, uh, I think there's like five or six different types of of these posters and uh, these posters if you find all six of these posters and you go to a certain like bar in a uh, town called Wutai then you'll be able to get a whole bunch of sources and like a couple episodes back sources are pretty important so definitely a lot ha definitely really handy for getting our stats and it's pretty good idea to get higher stats as fast as possible there is definitely some like you know sources you can get on certain locations but you know obviously the game the playthrough doesn't give you that much sources like, I think it's like five each for the, for, throughout the entire like uh, game so and the rest of it you gotta like farm everything so yep that's what you want to do so uh, we found the very first poster and uh, let's open and there's also a little thing here that we could take Gil from. Uh, let me check my notes. I mean, we're going through this no problem. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Da da da. Okay, so let's look at the top drawer. Let's look at the other one, the bottom drawer. So this little kid's sick, and we talked to him, uh, and then he talks about something like no one will find it. Ugh, top drawer and the bottom one. Okay, let's look at the top one. Open the hidden drawer between them. <laughs> five gill. Okay, so most people would get the five gill because you know they want gill, but we're gonna leave it. See what happens. We're gonna talk to the little kid. So, a little thing here. Uh, so, wait, well, how do you do this? If you choose not to steal the gill from him, you could come back later and find a turbo elixir. So, that's what we're gonna do, guys. We're just going to leave it. Okay, so that's really the most important thing in this, uh, you know, bedroom is the two uh, things there. So we're gonna leave it there, and uh, 
when we once we come back later we'll get a turbo elixir which is uh actually pretty handy especially earlier in the game and is there anything else here there's a uh, weapon shop i mean do we have anything oh uh, we can't get a titan bangle yeah let's buy let's buy two because we're gonna need some later on so we got another titan bagel for cloud yep more defense we definitely need this you know just we're just doing some boring stuff guys we're just getting a whole bunch of uh you know new armor and all that and the thing is a lot of people don't know about these certain places to get uh these items and all that so you know i guess this is a walkthrough you could say so i'm trying to complete all the things that i can in this uh walkthrough so you know don't don't worry about me like skipping a very important part like i'm definitely gonna try to find all the material in this game which is actually a really fun activity to do and uh so we are near um tifa's house now and uh first of all rule number two respect the flowers and uh, there's two items in this place so i have an ether ethers are actually very valuable in this walkthrough because um they actually they actually you can actually uh sell it for a lot of money for some reason and uh we're not gonna spend all our ethers uh, at all this walkthrough we're just going to sell them all basically and uh, also we have the cover materia now the cover materia it's a very interesting materia it's our very first purple materia and uh cover gives you the ability um if you have this equipped it protects your allies from attack so with this particular materia it gives you a 20 percent chance of you getting the uh cover uh ability and you also get a plus one to vitality which is uh, actually pretty good and uh obviously with the material with all the materials you have um you get ap which is uh action points or something like that. i don't know so anyway the more action points you get the more stronger it gets and once you make cover to full power it'll be a hundred percent chance of you covering your enemies which is actually very good if you have really high like health and defense depending on your armor uh which you can actually and you can use that to protect your weaker um you know characters like area so we're gonna have cloud equip this because of 20 percent chance of covering um you know tifa and since tifa is not that you know doesn't have any defense basically we're definitely gonna like that for um tifa and you know this class really big sword and has you know better defense than tifa then we definitely want that with her she's a healer she's not supposed to be you know attacked you know it's just little things rpg uh, characteristics uh i have obviously there's a safe spot there but this is way too short of an episode so we're gonna continue on going forward we got respecting the rules guys okay more story so let's go ahead and continue so tifa says i'm home mom oh wow she has a mom cool uh, this is Cloud, my bodyguard. Yes, the one man, the jack of all trades himself. Bodyguard? You were followed again? Well, yes. Whoa, whoa. Is this the first time this, is this the first time it happened to her? Or is this like another, t like se the seventh, seventh, eighth, ninth time? I don't care. It's probably happened to her, from, to her before. Uh, are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? Well, no, she's actually fine. I'm the one who protected her with the barrels. I mean, come on. I'm alright. I had Cloud with me. Yes, she did. Okay. Thank you, Cloud. No problem. Okay. So, what are you gonna do now? Uh, is Sector 7 far from here? I gotta go to Ares Bar. <laughs> this is kinda strange. Like, she's supposed to be Ares. Or Ares, as some people would call him. And then, like, uh, you know. T so, it's supposed to be Tifa's Bar instead of Ares Bar. So, pretty funny. Uh, let me check this here. Okay, that's strange. So, it's still confusing for me, but, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you the reason why I did that with the names. Uh, Arius Bar. Is Arius a girl? Well, it sounds like a girl, right? Arius. It should be your own name. You should know what, um, the name should, should belong to. It belongs to a girl. Yeah, it, it is a girl. A girl... Friend? Oh, really? Girlfriend? Eh. Uh, not really, no. No way. Okay. You don't have to get that upset. Oh, well, yeah. That kind of makes... <laughs> I guess Cloud was very triggered from that sentence. Anyway. 
Well, that's nice. Let's see, Sector 7? I'll show you the way. You gotta be... You gotta be kidding. Why would you want to put yourself in danger again? You're not supposed to... She's, she's a, like a healer. She's not supposed to be in danger. That's why we have the cover material. I'm used to it. <laughs> why? Do you have the cover material on Tiva? Oh. Used to it? Well, I don't know. Getting help from a girl. Oh, wow, Cloud. That's kind of a low blow. A girl? What do you mean by that? You expect me to just sit by quietly after hearing you say something like that? Mom, I'm taking Cloud to Sector 7. I'll be back in a while. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, sweetheart. Just might as well, you know, do whatever. But dear, I give up. You never listen once you've made up your mind. But if you must go, why can't you go tomorrow? It's getting late now. Okay. Yeah, you're right, Mom. <laughs> yes, she's always right. You should, like, I don't know like be protected and all that Tifa please go make the bed okay she's making the bed give it time okay so what we're good, just gonna go up the stairs and all that that glow in your eyes you're from soldier right <laughs> is it me or does everyone know I'm from soldier except me like you know soldier seems to be pretty important in this game and uh yeah, I guess we gotta learn more about that, right? I hope it explains it well. Yeah, or I used to be. Hmm, I don't know how to say this, but... Could you please leave here tonight? Le without telling Tifa? Sure, I mean... She does have some of my material, so I'd like to ask it back. So, it's gotta be kinda hard. I mean, we'll, we might have the same situation as, uh... Barrett and Tifa, just like giving back my material, just falling from the sky so it might happen okay going upstairs you need to go through sector six to get to seven sector seven sector six is a little dangerous so you better get some rest tonight of course it's dangerous um okay Gotcha. Okay. Just reading through my notes, guys, to make sure, you know, this playthrough is like, you know, as complete as possible. I, I'm not a person who doesn't like incompleteness. In fact, like, if I don't get the trophies throughout this playthrough, I might play it again just to get all the trophies. Because, you know, I'm a really big fan of this game. Oh, man. <laughs> yes, Cloud, you're in a very tight situation. Seem pretty tired. Hmm? I haven't slept in a bed like this for a long time. Oh yeah. So he's having a conversation with himself? Does he have multiple personality disorder? Cause I don't know. I mean, I, I like this dialogue, but it's kinda creepy. Ever since then. Ah, this is... Oh wow, well, this is interesting. My, how you've grown. I'll bet the girls never leave, I'll never leave you alone. Not really. <laughs> oh, Cloud. I'm worried about you. There's a lot of temptations in the city. I'd feel a lot better if you just settled down with a nice girlfriend. I'm alright. <laughs> just chill. You should have. An older girlfriend. One that'll take care of you. I think that would be the best for you. I'm not interested. <laughs> Cloud. He's just like, eh, I'm alright. Don't care. Not really. Not interested. I must have fallen asleep. Cloud seems like a dude who's like, he just doesn't have a care in the world, yet everyone cares about him. He's just one of those guys. <laughs> it's kind of a curse, honestly. Uh, sector 7's past Sector 6. I should be alright by myself. Well, yeah, you're freaking Cloud. Okay, let's get this item first. You receive a potion and a phoenix down, which, you know, pretty handy, honestly. Okay. Let's just go. Oh, what just happened? Cloud, I thought the Turks came back. Get some rest. Oh, 
Oh no, the Turks. Okay. So we're back. We're just going to. Okay, I'm guessing we're not gonna run run this time. Can't get caught this time. So we're just going to go around without running. The only question, where does the mom sleep? Because I don't see her. She's probably outside gardening. Uh, do we go to the safe spot? Eh. No. I there's actually another safe spot coming um a little later. So we're going to continue. Uh, let's go back to that kid's uh, you know, area. So let's see if we can get a turbo elixir. Um there might be another time where it's a good time to get it. Anyway, let's continue. We got all the items in this area. Including a Titan Bangle, which we definitely need. Oh, little thing here. Okay, let's talk to this guy. He's just sick. Now, for those of you who played this game before, um, turns out he's like part of a certain dude's clone, like group. So. Yeah, you, you probably know what, you talk, what I'm talking about. It involves the story of a certain dude, you know, who has, uh, you know, the main, the main, like, bad dude. You know what I mean. Just, oh, yeah. whatever, okay. You're up bright and early. <laughs> uh, Tifa. So, first of all, how did she, how is she able to get to that spot before I did? Well, I knew I passed by her while she was in the room, and it took me about the same time to get there than she did, and I had a head start. She must, like, have some magical powers of some sort. I couldn't ask you to go. I knew it would be dangerous. Are you done? Um, sure. You have to go through the slums in Sector 6 to get to areas. Seventh heaven. <laughs> I'll take care. I'll take you there. Come on. Okay. I guess we're going. Here we go. Mm, excuse me. Okay, so we're going to pass through this uh, place. Um, there is a certain enemy called like a madhouse, and I might see it. There we go. Um, this thing actually gives you a little bit of experience, and. Uh, What's actually interesting about this thing is it can sometimes do a lot of damage. However, um, it does give you a lot of limit uh, break points. So I'm not exactly sure what the weakness is. So let's just test out everything. So with our magic. You know, so if you guys want to level up a little bit more, if you haven't leveled up that much, then like this is a good place to do it. Uh, it gives you a little bit of experience. Um, plus, it does. It also gives you um, some heal as well. You know, it's just sometimes a hassle to take care of this thing. Because it does a lot of explosions and all. And you know, it takes an okay chunk of damage. Oh, wow. That's stupid. As you can see there. So, if you want to test out your limit breaks a lot, this is actually a good place to do it. And uh, the more limit breaks you do in this game, uh, the more time the stronger limit breaks you can get. So keep that in mind. So, uh, you know, overall, this is actually an okay place to train, especially in the beginning. So, I don't know. You can, like, level up like, one or two times and it makes the, you know, game a little bit easier for you. So, a little tip there if you're playing Final Fantasy uh, 7. So, you get, you know, you get some good experience here, especially for uh, area. It might uh, do this battle a couple more times so we can level her up. Because she's only level 5 and, you know, she definitely needs the stats. Okay. We honestly could have used Cure while we were doing that. So let's do a couple more matches and then, uh, so that she can level up. So she's just a little stronger so we could, you know, be, I don't know, better equipped for this playthrough. And plus, you, you guys need to check out this, uh, cool... Um, let's use ice. You gotta check out her limit break. It's actually really good. 
def a lot really handy, especially in the beginning of the game. So it's just, you know, a cool little utility. It just heals you. That's it. It's just really good. Okay, let's see if it killed all of them at the same time. Nope. I'm ashamed. Also, hint of advice, always use uh, Tifa, always use Tifa with like magic, like, you know, like attack stinks. Ow. Slash again. As you can see, it does a lot of damage, because she has the best magic in the game. And as you can see, those limit breaks are definitely going up. Heal up Nice. There we go. I'll probably skip a couple of these battles, but you know, obviously not this one because the, the limit breaks are real, everybody. As you can see, 96 experience, that is a lot. So honestly, this is a good place to level up a couple of times. Actually, we might be able to do this one more time for Cloud, right? Um, let's check out his status. Oh, pfft. no, I don't want that. So, 87 more experience. Like, we could definitely level him up one time while we're doing this. So, let's do that. I might just skip, like, a couple of battles uh, with this plate. Uh, so, that'll be, like, a couple of seconds for you. <laughs> okay, guys, we're finally at, um... We're, all, we're finally at level 10 with Cloud, and uh, we also got a new limit break called Cross Slash. Now, Cross Slash is basically the same thing as Braver, only um, Cross Slash makes your opponent paralyzed, which is definitely a lot more handy. Okay, so we passed through the uh, Sector 6 slums. We've got a couple of levels. Uh, we got Cross Slash, and uh, we definitely checked out... Um, we definitely got some needed experience, honestly, because Tifa's only level 5, and we definitely wanted her to be a lot better, especially with the new battles that are definitely going to come. So, the gate to Sector 7, to Sector 7's is there. So, and my little dog is still whining for some reason, if you can hear that in the background. Thanks, I guess this is goodbye. You gotta be alright. Are you gonna be alright going home? Oh no. What will I ever do? Isn't that what what you want me to say? Uh, I don't know. Like, you know, she seems to be doing alright for herself, especially with that healing thing. Uh, I, you know, I could take her home. You know, she, she, she's doing good, you know? Well, it's it's not only she's good, I had to be a gentleman. So. I gotta be, do the, be the best person I, I could be for her, you know? Well, not only for her, but for everybody. So, that's what I'm gonna do for her, you know? Just, just, you know, give her, I'll give her respect. That's, that's what I'm doing. Isn't that a little out of your way? You know, well, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> He's so honest. Can we take a break? Okay. She's just thinking. I don't know what she's doing. So, let's go forward okay what's the matter it's okay you don't like Final Fantasy 7 I mean it's a little old but come on I can't believe it's still here what's still here it looks so old okay cloud over here okay I guess we're going on top Pretty cool. What rank were you? Rank? You know, in soldier. Oh, I was. Oh, first class. Just the same as him. Okay, I've been hearing getting these strange vibes. Like every time he, he switches to white, like it reminds you of the voice that you've been hearing recently. So. What's up with that? I'm pretty sure the voice and the whiteness of the screen, like, I don't know, it just, it's just, it's the same thing, basically. Kind of unusual. Just the same as him. The same as who? 
My first boyfriend. Ah. Were you were you serious? No, but I liked him for a while. I probably knew him. What was his name? It doesn't really matter. Oh, come on. He might know him. Oh, look, a chocobo. I, you guys haven't seen a chocobo yet, haven't you? They're basically like the horses in this game. Like a horse slash ostrich. Like we use them as a, you know, a horse. And, you know, they're actually pretty cool. Chocobos are cool. We're definitely going to see more of them in the future. Huh? Hey, back there. Area? Oh, looky there. That girl in the cart was Aerith? There, where was she going? She looked kind of odd. And where is she going? Wait! <laughs> oh, she just... I'll go on alone. You go home. Oh, boy. I guess she's not going home then. Oh, well. I guess we're going forward. Okay. Let's see where we're going to. Oh look, one of those upbeat towns that probably fill with jerks. Who knew? There's actually a lot of things to do in this part. Very interesting part of the game, honestly. We're probably gonna talk about we're definitely gonna talk about this in the next uh, you know episode. Uh, this place is scary in a lot of ways, especially for a girl. We got we got yeah, we so we've got to find an area fast. I can't talk today. And guess what? There's a safe spot. So you know how it is, guys. Rule number one, we gotta finish the episode when you find a safe spot, um, except when you find another safe spot very early in the game. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, the clip just ended as soon as I'll say we're about to end the episode. <laughs> so I'm just probably gonna leave that on because we're actually pretty lucky and we were able to end the episode as soon as so you find a safe spot. So that's about it, guys. Um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you go ahead to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And uh, comment below if you have any questions with like uh, some of the builds um, with this, uh, you know, game. Um, the combat system is kind of unusual because you have materia instead of like its own, the character's power source, and uh, instead of like having. A particular character being useful for one particular use like it is for previous Final Fantasy games um, you, you instead have a certain like character basically can do anything in this game which is actually one of the coolest things in this game and the kind of most unusual things in this game like you can have cloud as like a you know a healer while you can have like I don't know Tifa as your main DPS person which is kind of weird like you'll probably want to do the exact opposite but Hey, you can do that, you know, and that's why I like Final Fantasy 7 so much is because you can basically make all, Like your care all the characters What kind of fighting style you want to you wanted to be and uh, You get a lot of freedom with uh, you know this type of style of um, Combat with this game, which is really really cool uh, So guys, I'm going to end this video um, comment below if you have that any particular questions like that and uh, also, you know, how are you liking this series? Like, give me some feedback. What am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? I love to see, hear your criticisms, um, you know, with this series. Like, give me some criticism. I love, you know, comments on what's good, what's bad. Like, I definitely like seeing those. So, you know, just do all that in the comment section. That's why it's there. So you can give a comment. That's about it. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Uh, let's go ahead and save, so make sure we don't have to- Oh, wow. Like, I think we gotta use a tent. Yeah, we definitely spent some money for tents, right? Oh, we- No, never mind. Okay, guys, so we're going to end this video, so thank you guys for watching. Make sure you go ahead to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and uh, check out all my social media sites. Links in the description, Facebook, Twitter. I spend a lot of time on Twitter. Just check it out. And uh, Twitch, even though I don't do a single dang thing on that place, but I don't know, why not? Just follow it, okay? I might host some certain things because, you know, sometimes I like watching Twitch. 
So, in fact, you know, I might, you know, it's probably, would it be a good idea to live stream Final Fantasy? Like, I could definitely could do that with certain parts of the game. It's just not now, because I'm just going through, you know, I'm just going through the playthrough, but, you know, I could definitely do that kind of thing. Um, I don't know, <laughs> I just, long ramblings, wasting time, telling you guys what I should do with this series, but, playthroughs, it's definitely keep, I'm definitely, I'm definitely doing, keep, I'm definitely gonna keep on doing this because I love Final Fantasy. So, anyway guys, thank you guys, God bless, see you next time, goodbye, and I'll see you in the next, um, playthrough.